Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, so in this video, we are going to continue talking about the operators that allow us to do quantifier operations. So these are the operators that will return a bool and uh, deciding or determining whether or not some of the data or all of the data in this collection meet a certain criteria. So today we are going to focus on any and the questions you can ask with any are is essentially are there any elements in this collection that meet a given criteria if there are some elements uh, that uh, meet that criteria you're going to get true if there if there aren't uh, you're going to get false so i what i the setup i have here is not different from the previous video uh, I have a list of integers, a list of the strings, and an array of genes. And this is what this function is giving me. And uh, if, if you've been watching these videos, uh, you've seen uh, uh, this class before. It has two properties, sequence and fitness, and a couple of functions that just uh, give us, one gives us a list of, uh, of genes, and one gives us uh, uh, an array of genes. Okay, so let's go right to using the any operator just to see how it works. So let's say I want to know are, are, are any of the numbers in there are greater than 8 for example. Okay, so what we can do is uh, use the any operator. Let's just uh, create a local variable here. Let's call it data any. Okay, not very creative here. Uh, so what we want to do is, are there any numbers that are greater than 8? Okay, so let's do data1 dot any. Simple as that. And what I want to know, is there any data? I don't want the whole thing. Where that data is greater than 8. Okay. So let's print that and see what we get. So console All right. So what do we expect to get here? We are expecting to get true. Okay, and that's precisely what we get. Okay, so the question we we asked here is is there any data in that collection data one uh, where that data item is greater than eight and of course there is because you have 23 32 12 56 23 in there so of course there is so you can ask uh, other questions as well is or is there any data that's less than one for example is there anything that's less than one no there isn't Okay, so that's why we're getting false here. All right, so let's move on to use this in the string collection. So let's say I want to know, is there a uh, mango in, in that collection? Okay, so I could do, uh, create a local variable here. So fruits any. Okay, I want to know if in that collection, we have any element where that element is equal to mango. Okay. All right, now if you're worried about uh, case sensitivity, you might also go ahead and call to lower on this. to make sure you get the uh, lower case. Okay, so let's print this one out. And see precisely what we get. Okay, so what do we expect? Yes, there's a mango in there, so we're gonna get true. All right, well, how about that? We are going to get false, right? Because there's no mango uppercase in there but we might actually do that on it just to play around okay what are you gonna get that is 
is going to be precisely true. Okay, because uh, we are uh, we have a mango in there, which is essentially a, a capital mango that is to lowercase. Okay. All right. What what else can we do with a string? We can check the length and see are there any string in, strings in there where the length is of some value. Okay. Where the length equals to ten. See what we got. True. That's because strawberry is of length ten. Yeah, about hundred. Are there any strings in there equal to 100? No, but there are strings in there where the left is less than or equal to 100, and that's all of them, so that's why we're getting true here. So let's go ahead and, and move on to the uh, to the array of genes. That's a custom object. Is it going to work? And yes, it will. So let's go ahead and and try that. So genes any, let's just call it that. Okay, so what do we want to know? We want to know are there any genes in that collection where the fitness equals to seven? Okay, so let's just get the genes array that any. Okay, uh, I want to know if there are any genes in there where genes that fitness equals to seven. Let's print that one out. See what we get. And I'm pretty sure there is. Uh, so we got true here. Well, what we can do, let's go ahead and print uh, all the genes here. So we get. So we know what we're dealing with. Okay. All right. So as you can see, we have uh, genes that has a fitness of seven. Uh, we have no genes here with fitness of eight. So let's try that one. Just making sure this is working right. And uh, we precisely get false because there are no genes in there where the fitness is equal to eight. But we also have a sequence uh, 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 property here too. So what could we say about that sequence? Okay, uh, we could say we want to get sequences that only have, uh, let's say, that only start with T. Okay. Are there any sequences in there where uh, uh, the sequence start with T? Okay, well, that's obviously going to be true because we have uh, this one, we have this one. Okay, well, you could try start with E. That's not going to work, right? So there you go, that's false. So you can imagine all the functions you could call here that would return a true or false value and then uh, you could uh, use the any operator to just pull that out. Okay, so this is uh, the video guys. Uh, this is how you use the any operator. Uh, to just ask the questions, are there any element in that collection that meet a certain criteria that you would provide? Okay, so please subscribe if you want to know when these videos are coming up. Uh, go ahead and like the videos if you like them. And uh, if you've got any questions and, and, and suggestions, uh, go ahead and put them in the uh, comment section and I'll respond. And if, uh, and I guess I'll see you next time. All right, bye.